All right, buddy, I'm going to review your video. Here it looks like you are reaching a little too much, um, a little bit over top of your toes. Just want to make sure that when you do decide to come forward and make contact with the other wrestler, you want to be in good position, nice and low, and then get to the tie that you want to get to. Good job making contact though off the whistle. That way you can kind of set the pace of a match. Right here, your head position is good. Um, you have it right next to his, his ear. Your feet are a little too close. So you didn't move your feet enough. Um, in order to get to your position to take that shot. So you get a little bit tangled up here, which is okay, but um, this is a good opportunity to take, you know, take advantage of the wrestler that's shooting on your legs that's out of position for a second. Here he gets to your leg. You want to do a good job here trying to get your leg to the ground, which is what you should be doing on your defense, trying to get that leg um, on the ground. Don't let him lift up. At this point, in a couple seconds, you should be looking to take your shoulder right here and getting it underneath of his chin. And then you're going to lift up on his arms or pull down on his arms and separate his arms and drive up with your shoulder underneath of his chin. It makes for a little uncomfortable position that the athlete usually does not like and will work to try and either release your leg, uh, break free, or um, you know just be uncomfortable while you're trying to defend your shot. Again, try to get that foot to the ground. That's what you really want to do. If you take um, if you take this hand and put it on his elbow here and here, that's going to help separate his arms and, and break his lock as you're driving down with your with your leg to the mat. There you go. He broke his lock. Good. One thing when you do that, you should be looking reshot. So as soon as you break that lock, back five seconds. So right here. So now you're going to, you could here, in order to take a reshot, look to get to your left. So your underhook is here. You're gonna jack that up as soon as you as soon as your foot touches the ground. Here. You should be stepping to your left with your left leg. So as soon as your right foot touches the ground, you step to the left with your left leg and then drive up with that underhook. And then that's gonna put you in position to take a shot. So you can go right into a high crotch or um, even a lefty outside single or lower your level and blast double. Let that play out. Yeah, so you back up a little bit, which doesn't allow for you to get to that shot. So you should be looking at it immediately as a reattack. Rewind just a little bit. 
Cerbatium in, but you take your shot this way instead of to his leg. Um, so that's going to put you, it almost looks like your knee is going to be outside penetration set right here. So it's going to be outside of his right leg, which is going to put your shoulder in bad position uh, once you get to the leg. And there's a little bit of distance that's between you and the wrestler that, um, you know, you wanted to either take a deeper penetration step or um, pull him as you, as you move backwards to set your feet to take your shot. Good job coming up. Good job coming up. <laughs> Gotta love the commentary by dad or, or coach. Get there. Good. Double leg. Head in the middle. Double leg. Just look to improve. As soon as you get here. As soon as he bumps you off. What I would do is try to hook that hook that lower leg and you really want to sink your hips down to the mat so you really want to get flat here and then since your head's in the middle you want to try to attack bottom leg so that you can step over with your top foot and that'll help hook the leg what you don't want to do is lift your hips so see how you popped up to your knees here and your hips got high, what that does is create space to allow for defensive wrestler to elevate your hips and roll you through. So you want to stay nice and low so that you can hook that bottom leg. So if you move too quickly and you pop your hips too fast, then that allows for the wrestler to, um, to elevate your hips. She does here you do a good job recovering now you gotta you have to get flat so hips are real high if you look right here your hips are real high but you want to go straight down to the mat almost like a sprawl so that your legs are kicked back and you want to like put your put your hips right on the mat and then work to pop your head there you go so he elevates you through Good job recovering here. And then now hook bottom leg, hips low. Again, he elevates you. Close the gap. You want to move your feet so you put yourself in position to, to take a shot. Think offense, a little reach there, here with your right arm. So you don't want to reach over top of your toes too much. Let's see, come on, get to a shot, get to a shot. Decent shot, fireman's good. Right those back, good. Hips heavy, there you go. Now pressure forward, okay. Get him over top, attack that wrist so you can turn him. 
Good one on one. Good pressure forward. Toes dug in the mat. Good job.